exclusive live radar, and nine-day forecast. So you'll know first, this is First Alert Weather. We're in the middle of winter, right? but we can kind of forget about it for a little bit. It just it feels more like spring. It really does. Nice. You know, we have uh, 40, I think it's 47 days till spring begins, but I think we're we almost at 10. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're getting that like that false spring because yeah. you know we're yeah. going to get another shot of cold here in summer. Yeah. Right, so, right, right. It is February, so I want to show you some of the February climate stats. Today, our normal high is 40 degrees, normal low is 20. We're way above that by the end of the month, and this month, a leap year, so February 29th. 49 is our typical high, our normal low is 28 degrees. As far as all-time records, 83 and 22 degrees below zero. And our typical precipitation numbers here, uh, about an inch and a half of moisture as far as rainfall. If you were to melt the snow and rain combined in snowfalls, so our snowiest month, 5.9 inches. That's what we usually get. So we'll see if we get back to 5.9 inches of snow this month. We picked up a little more than 8 inches last month in January. Right now we're looking towards the west over the city. We have some clouds overhead. We're currently at 60 degrees. So as I just showed you, we're a good 20 degrees above normal. We have a south wind which is pumping in more of that warm air. And we're even noticing just a few sprinkles out there closer to Sedalia, also near, up near Cameron and Atchison. Now the air beneath those clouds is relatively dry. So the radar it's seeing that rain up in the cloud trying to make its way down to the ground, but a lot of what we're seeing here is evaporating. That being said, you might just notice a sprinkle or two as we head through the next several hours. In general, we're just going to have those clouds out there. 58 is our temperature in Liberty, 60 in Lee Summit, 61 for Olathe, 66 degrees in Ottawa. So another mild day going through the evening. We're mainly dry, just a very slim possibility of a brief sprinkle. Upper 50s for evening hours, so light jacket, maybe not. I mean, Really, it's going to be nice uh, for your evening plans. Tomorrow morning, we'll wake up in the low to mid 40s. Should have some sunshine tomorrow morning. So we'll have kind of that partly cloudy sky, which means possibly the groundhog. We'll see a shadow tomorrow morning, so we'll be monitoring for that. If so, hey, six more weeks of winter. We will keep you posted on that. Otherwise, uh, 56 degrees midday, lower 60s for the afternoon. Those clouds thickening up during the afternoon hours. Your Friday. Trending more towards being a dry day, another mild day with those highs in the low to mid 60s. Now rain, it rolls in for the weekend. Here's future scan. Now we're looking at Saturday morning and more so if you're traveling west, you're more likely to run into rain Saturday morning through lunchtime. Most of the area still mainly dry through midday Saturday, but then as we get into the afternoon, rain chances will start to increase pretty quickly by 5 p.m. So if you have dinner plans on Saturday, You'll want to make sure that you have your umbrella with you because rain will become more and more likely as we head through the evening. Here's a look at 11 p.m. Potentially some widespread rain, maybe a rumble of thunder too. It'll be breezy. This rain will likely linger into our Saturday night. We'll see how long that lasts into Sunday. So as of right now, that weather impact on Saturday for your evening plans, you'll need your umbrella. Windy day, highs will be near 60 degrees. Cooler on Sunday, showers early in the morning. We'll see if those showers linger past sunrise. Cooler at high of 48. Then next week, mainly dry, at least to start, and we're staying mild. Highs will warm up to near 60 by Wednesday. A next chance of rain next week, that'll be on Thursday. Just a little cooler after that with highs near 50.